What's up guys, today under Lifestyle, we're gonna talk about two things that I get asked about all the time. First one is gonna be, what happened to the Lobuck diesel truck? How come I haven't worked on it in a while? The second one is gonna be, why did I quit bleeping Jeep? And before we can get into either one of them, I need to show you something. Good morning. It's probably a little bit hard to see me, and that's because it is 3 a.m. My job is about an hour away, it starts at 4 a.m., so I am on my way to work. For those of you who don't know, I'm a commercial plumber. I have been for 15 years, and it's lunchtime. So I'm gonna scarf down my lunch real quick and try to answer as many of your comments, emails, direct messages as I can in this first break that I have of the day. All right, I'm off work. So now it is time to do my hour and a half commute home. And on the way, I stop by the gym so I get a little bit of workout in, blow off a little bit of steam. And uh, this is my second opportunity of the day to try and answer comments, emails, things like that. Now I'm home, I'm here with my kiddos and I get to see my family for about an hour. Then it's time for my second job. Let go of the camera. No. Dad needs to film. No. Dad needs to film. No. It's not funny. No. Okay, now it's time for my second job. It's a weekday. That means it's time to edit, as you can see. I've got some editing going on up there. Got the keyboard, and I'm being attacked. So I'm gonna try to get some editing done. It's about 6.45, I'm out here in the shop. I just put my son down, so he goes to bed early just because he turns into a pumpkin anytime after that. But I'm out here to reshoot. There's some things that didn't quite turn out on the edit, so it's time to reshoot. I also use this time to come up with ideas for new videos, things like that, maybe prep for the next video. Just get things ready for the following week. It's nine o'clock, we're in bed because we need to wake up at 2.45 to do this whole thing over again. Good night. My family knows that my entire weekend is devoted to making videos, so no one really bothers me. Friday night to Sunday night, I am in the shop building or creating, filming, whatever it is that I'm doing for the next video. If there's a holiday, if there's a birthday, something like that, then I will try to make a video that I can do in one day, so the other day I can hopefully have some time with my family. If I can't finish any of these videos, then that means that I am filming throughout the week and finishing my projects bumpers, whatever, throughout the week at the same time as I'm editing and the schedule gets even more packed than it already is. We are to the point, I promise you. So I wanted to show you what my schedule looks like for a, a good reason. The schedule is packed. It is packed tight. I barely make it every Friday for the video and sometimes I don't, even when I work really, really hard all week. So the reason that I'm showing you these different things is because it dovetails perfectly into the reasons why I haven't gotten back to the low buck diesel truck and why I left bleeping Jeep. Let's be honest, ownership of this truck is not practical in any way. It's got big gaping holes full of rust that you can see through. It smells like a swamp on the inside. And I have another fully functional truck that I fit my whole family in. So why do I own this truck? It's because I love it. I truly love the look of this truck. The interior is not even put together, but when I sit in it, I'm like, oh, I cannot wait to drive this damn thing. The reason I've not been working on it is because of this super tight schedule that I just showed you guys. It is so hard to make a video a week. And the next step of this project is gonna be a multi-week video, making it to where I'm gonna have to skip a week or two of releasing a video in order to finish the next step of this project. So it's easy to push on to the back burner. This schedule sucks. This is not realistic to basically have two full-time jobs and be a full-time dad. No one can live like this forever. It's really hard. I've got no time for video games. I've, I barely have time to hang out with friends or anything. I barely have time to hang out with my family. So I'm getting rid of one of these three categories. Being a dad ain't going nowhere. It's my favorite thing in the world. And being a YouTuber isn't going anywhere. So I am on my way to quit my job right now. I've been a commercial plumber for 15 years. I'm a journeyman. I'm in the union. It's a sweet gig. I worked really hard to get here. And I'm going to quit. I'm going to give the owner the keys to this van. I'm going to give him my company credit cards. Um, yeah, it's not an easy decision, but something has got to give. And I love doing this so much. I really enjoy making these videos and I don't want to stop. I don't plan on stopping. So we're, we're gonna take a gamble. We're gonna see if we can make this work as a career. Internet, this is my wife, Jessica. <laughs> Jessica, these are my internet friends. Hello. <laughs> So I wanted to bring Jessica in here because she is making a lot of these changes possible. 
having a cool wife is very important, as many of you know. Whenever you're retiring from a career you worked really hard to get, <laughs> um, that is certainly, is no exception. So I wanted to bring her here to ask a couple questions because I'm sure people are gonna be curious what my wife thinks about all this. Do you think we can do this, honestly? Yes. She thinks we can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow, she thinks that we're gonna make a YouTube channel where we can support ourselves. She's very confident. A lot more confident than me, I think, actually. If we can't make this work, and I have to go back to plumbing, are you gonna allow us to do both? Will I still be able to do a YouTube channel and work as many hours as I've been working while doing plumbing? I think that it will become a little bit on the back burner, but as kind of a hobby instead of trying to make this a full-time job. But you have a lot of fans and yeah. um, we gotta keep it going somehow, so. Yeah. Just I think that not trying to make it a full-time job. I agree. I think that I would still have a YouTube channel if this doesn't work and I do have to go back to plumbing, but I, uh, I don't think I'll be doing a video a week because it is a strain. Yeah. It is a strain. <laughs> Especially with two kids, and uh, yeah. you know, and as they're getting older, they're yeah. gonna they're gonna need even more attention than they do now. So, but they'll be a little bit older, so we can bring them with yeah. on. That's you know. that's Plan B. Would be going back to plumbing. <laughs> plan A is retiring from plumbing and just doing this. Yeah. All this ties into one final thing that I wanna talk about, and that is Bleep and Jeep. For those of you who don't know, you only know me from this channel. I was on another channel called Bleep and Jeep. It was a good sized channel. I had a lot of good opportunities there. I worked with guys that I really liked. It was a ton of fun, but I wanted to own my own content. The way it was set up there was basically Matt owns everything that everybody makes, and then we all get to be a part of the channel. So instead of trying to start out a YouTube channel yourself, you basically just start out on a channel that's already established, and, and that, that's how it works. I got tired of making so much content and not owning any of it, you know? I made 52 videos over there and I worked really hard on all of them and it was big sacrifice to make a video every week over there and I, I didn't own it. So I decided that I wanted to own it. I wanted to give it a shot and do my own channel. I walked away from a lot, you know, there was a well-established channel. It was really easy to get sponsorships, things like that. But I knew it was worth the risk. I really wanted to have a channel that represented me and how I build and things like that. Just make something that was my own instead of being on a bigger channel, part of something else that somebody else made. It was hard to quit. It was a little bit weird at first between Matt and I, I think, but I, on my side, we're good. I think that everything is happy there. I, I still really like those guys over there and I hope that one day I can build my channel big enough where it'll be worth it for them to collaborate with me because I would like to work with those guys in the future. I consider them friends. So we'll see where that goes. I'm just gonna keep working on this channel and continue to have something that represents me and something that I own entirely. If you thought this video was boring, I do not blame you. This is not my normal kind of content. Um, so if you made it this far, you're awesome. Thank you so much for watching it all the way to the end. If you wanna help us out, we do have three different ways you can help us out. First one would be Patreon. You basically can just pledge a dollar, $10, whatever. And that money goes to buy camera gear or to buy material for a project. I mean, even a little bit helps a lot. Those of you that are already helping us on Patreon, you rock, thank you very much. Um, it all helps. The second thing you could do would be go to our website. You can buy t-shirts, hats, stuff like that. We make a couple of bucks here and there. I mean, the supplier we use is really expensive, but they take a lot of the work out of it for us, so it's worth it. You can use our Amazon portal on our website. That also helps. And the, honestly, the third and probably the most important way to help us would be watch the videos. Watch the videos, watch the ads, like the video, put a comment in there. The algorithm sees all this interaction as good stuff, and it helps us grow in the long run. So if you just want to watch the videos, you don't have a lot of money, I, I get it. We just I just quit my job. I don't have a lot of money either. So so buying a shirt or a sticker isn't for everybody. Just, just watch the content, enjoy it, and I hope to see you guys in future videos. Like I always say, if you want to follow me on social media, I'm at Dirt Lifestyle Nate. We'll see you next time.